Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flater Mouse. Today we're going to test out this retro futuristic design and we'll accelerate this to supersonic speeds around 1200 feet per second. We call it Star Blazers. In order to keep you safe both online and offline, we'll be using the scientific mass accelerator. Since this is not a firearm, it increases the odds of you even finding this video on YouTube. In fact, the odds of you getting in your subscriber feed is now about 1 in 10. Woohoo! These projectiles come from Tim from the Idahoan Show. I don't know what Tim's inspiration was for this design, but I think it may have been Grandma's uh, faucet handles. That's what everyone <laughs> I've shown these two say they look like. Now these are solid cast lead weighing in at 1.3 ounces or 37 grams. Now you may be wondering which direction these are supposed to travel. This is actually the back of the projectile and that gives us 100% support for the gas seal. Now if we try to launch these backwards with that pointed in in the very small uh, area of, of support, the gas seal would just get torn up. It's a really strange design. We've seen weirder that work though. So let's get out there and supersonic these things. We're using the uh, mass accelerator on this one just to keep you safe both online and off. According to YouTube's rules, uh, it's not a firearm as far as they know. Okay, I'm ready. All right, test number one. Surprises of all surprises, it's actually flying straight through the air. The accuracy wasn't horrible. We can compensate for that, but uh, starting out pretty good. I didn't expect it to even fly straight. <laughs> okay, we got the ballistic blob, uh, ballistic gel. <laughs> it's seen better days. It's starting to look like a Tootsie Roll or something. <laughs> Okay, uh, I am ready when you are. All right, here we go. Oh, it's got a good kick to it. They're very heavy. In test number two, we see that the Star Blazer is tumbling. It actually hits backwards and a little bit low, so we do need to compensate for that drop. Now, this is not the worst projectile we've ever tested. Uh, just hitting the target is half the battle sometimes. People always want us to use ballistic gel in our videos. This is the best we can do. We're working on a top ramen budget and people expect steak. Ooh, I wish I had some steak. I almost remember what it tastes like. See what it does to an iPad. If you can even hit it. So far they've been drooping a little low. I don't know, man. They're heavy, so... I would aim a little high on this one. All right. Okay, I'm ready. Wow. In test number three, uh, since we're consistently seeing the projectile hitting low, Danny compensated for that, but the projectile is tumbling through the air. It's unlikely it would ever stabilize itself in that split second it's flying through the air. Once it begins tumbling, the inertia just keeps it tumbling. Okay, well, I guess an iPad will not save your life. Yeah. <laughs> wow, to the battery, huh? Looks like the battery right here, yep. Yeah. Okay. People always freak out about that, but as you can see, nothing happens. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Darren, for supplying that. It, it came from somewhere that Darren works. I don't want to say. Get him in trouble. <laughs> Obsolete anyway. Yeah. Yep. Okay, Danny's feeling a little cocky here. These have not been that accurate. Uh, but he thinks he can hit <laughs> that little can at 16 yards. Tumbling or not. You think you can do it? Uh, we're going to give it our best. Okay, I'm ready. Wow. Shaving cream. I always underestimate you. 
Test number four, a big, big, big surprise. It was very accurate and very stable too. And this is something I really did not expect with these projectiles. But as you know, I am the expert at being wrong. Now in the next test, we'll move the targets out to 25 yards or 75 feet. If he can hit that 25 yards, I'll be very surprised. Not, not that I have it, don't have faith in Danny. I don't have much faith in these <laughs> projectiles. <laughs> okay, I'm ready when you are. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Why? I'm always wrong. Do you know that? I'm always wrong. Just when we thought we had this down, well, this one tumbled through the air. But it was accurate. How about a 25-yard lead plate? Okay, ready when you are. Okay. And then we had this. But I guess a hit's a hit, huh? That thing hit, it, it bounced, it skipped off the ground first. It, Danny still hit it. Skip bombed it. Yeah, put a little bulge in there. Okay. Not much. Yeah, about, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's probably about 12 millimeters deep. How many, how many is that in inches? Uh... Three? One seventy-fourth of a cabbage. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> About a half inch, somewhere in there. But a hit's a hit, even when you skip it off the ground. <laughs> well, you kick up debris and you get uh, more impact on your target. There you go. It goes farther. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. All right. We're going to try for the fat middle. There you go. That's what I'm framed as. All right. At. Okay. Here we go. That was a Wild West I heard sound. that one whistle it off in the distance. Yeah. And the more we tried, the worse it got. But like I said, it's not the worst projectile we've ever tested. Uh, it was somewhat accurate. Just uh, the results were just all over the place. Some of the projectiles we've tested in the past, even some factory rounds, would not have even hit that bowling pin at that distance. Seven yards? Seven yards, yes. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Oh! <laughs> Well, to sum it up, the Star Blazer projectile uh, had very mixed results. It wasn't uh, a terrible round, like I said before. Uh, it was still a lot of fun to test because they were accurate enough to hit the targets. The test on the shaving cream was definitely the highlight of the test. Very, very stable. Lots of, lots of energy there, too. I think this would even surprise Tim, who designed these. He didn't have any hope for these either. He had very poor results in his test. Anyway, a quick shout out to our Patreon supporters who are keeping this uh, channel alive. 
And while I still have you here, I want to bring to your attention a, a channel called Shooting Stuff Australia. Recently had their entire channel uh, deleted by YouTube. It was five long years of hard work of posting videos, and overnight it just disappeared. He got no uh, help from YouTube, had to start all over again. So if you want to subscribe to a cool channel, check out this channel. It's, uh, you know, I'd love to see him get back on her feet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.